What is your favorite monologue in either a TV show or movie? When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back get mad I don't want your damn lemons. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager make life through the day I thought it could give Keith Johnson lemons do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. Cave Johnson from Portal 2, not a TV show or movie but a great monologue. Drainage drainage, a life, you boy. Drain dry. I'm so sorry. Here, if you have a milkshake, and I have a milkshake, and I have a straw. There it is, that's a straw, you see? You watching? And my straw reaches Akuro across the room, and starts to drink your milkshake. I, drink, your, Milkshake, I drink it up. Did you think your song and dance and your superstition would help you, Eli? I am the third revelation. I am who the Lord has chosen. X 200B. Daniel Plainview. Doctor of the Doctor defending his compassion. Blacklist Raymond celebrating life. The hospital George C. Scott's on hippies, the American medical system, and his total impotence. Network net BE on how the world works. Don't you guys realize? The next time we see Sky. It'll be over in other town. The next time we take a test, it'll be in some other school. Our parents, they want the best of stuff for us. But right now, they gotta do what's right for them, cause it's their time. Their time, up there. Down here it's our time. It's our time down here and that's all over the second we ride up Troy's bucket. Mikey Sean Astin, The Goonies. Chaos by Lord Baelish in Game of Thrones. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Many who try to climb it fail, and never get to try again. The fall breaks them. And some are given a chance to climb, but refuse. They cling to the realm, or love, or the gods, illusions. Only the latter is real. The climb is all there is. But they'll never know this. Not until it's too late. Little finger. As a nerd I gotta suggest this one for Melody R. A day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. An hour of wolves and shattered shields, when the age of men comes crashing down, but it is not this day this day we fight by all that you hold dear on this good earth, I bid you stand, men of the west. Roy Batty played by Rutger Hauer's closing monologue in Blade Runner is just glorious. Spoiler below. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhäuser gate. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Time to die. Ted Lasso playing darts. Guys have underestimated me my entire life. And for years, I never understood why. It used to really bother me. But then one day, I was driving my little boy to school, and I saw this quote by Walt Whitman, and it was painted on the wall there. It said, be curious, not judgmental. I like that. In Italy, for 30 years under the Borgias, they had warfare terror, murder and bloodshed, but they produced Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci and the Renaissance. In Switzerland, they had brotherly love they had 500 years of democracy and peace, and what did that produce? The cuckoo clock. Harry Lime, the third man, older one from a lesser known TV show, Babylon 5. Jakar dresses a council after his home world is bombed from orbit and gives an amazing, emotional speech on how no dictator. No invader can hold an imprisoned population by force of arms forever. It gave me chills watching that episode when it first came out. Do you know what Nemesis means? Snatch. It's crazy to me that I don't see Bricktop brought up more when people talk best villains of all time. He's absolutely iconic. He was Edmond Dantes, and he was my father, and my mother, my brother, my friend. He was you and me. He was all of us. Evie Hammond, V for Vendetta. That scene kills me every time no matter how many times I've seen it. Tyrion's speech in God has 4e6. It ends with Tyrion and Tywin staring at each other and then a black screen and the reins of Casimir playing. Dinklage's best performance and maybe the best scene in the show emo. Chaplin and the Great Dictator is powerful. Edward Norton in Fight Club about single-serving friend is cool. Peter Finch's Howard Beale and Network I Want You to Get Mad speech also very strong. I've always found Sidney Porter's monologue and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner to be moving. Peter Capaldi's anti-war speech in the Zygon inversion. Reading it won't be as good as watching it. Donald Sutherland is ex in whole five minute scene, telling Costner as Jim Garrison about the assassination cue to cat and the reasons behind it. Yoda's luminous beings monologue. It gives me chills every time. 
Yoda explains the Force. I had never watched Gone Girl before, but now I know what my spouse and I will be watching tonight indeed, that was a very fierce rant. Wow, I've never seen Gone Girl but now I know what my husband and I are watching tonight lol that was a pretty badass monologue, for sure. I remember lying there, looking at my leg and thinking, wonder if there's any bear in that can. Dennis Hopper is feckin' River's Edge. Gentlemen, you don't have enough talent to win on talent alone. You were born to be here speech. Herb Brooks, Miracle. Dot. X200B. Classic. Your problem is not the problem. Your problem is your attitude to the problem Captain Jack Sparrow. In A Knight's Tale, when Jeffrey gives his super eloquent introduction of Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Justified as some of the best back and forth, not quite a monologue but it's fantastic dialogue. Uncle Iro talking to Zuko under bossing say about what he wants out of his life that should hit. I like William Nafo's monologue in the lighthouse. All because Winslow didn't like his cooking. The opening monologue from Highlander is recorded by Sean Connery in his downstairs bathroom. Katniss if we burn, you burn with us. Monologue in Mockingjay Part 1 always gets me. Sisko's I can live with it admission at the end of In the Pale Moonlight. Luthen's speech in Andor. The speech at the end of the King's speech. Always makes me cry. Valerie Legasov's testimony in episode 5 of Chernobyl. So good. Don Draper telling the beatniks the universe is indifferent. Jeff Daniels' monologue in the first episode of The Newsroom. Marissa Domey, when she's on the stand in My Cousin Vinny. Emperor's New Groove, either Yzma's monologue or Krong's.